This is Al from Dino Flesh, and welcome to my 997 project. Check out the beautiful engine bay with my AMS goodies. I'll tell you a little bit about this project. Uh, we have some really good stuff here. First of all, we put some uh, aftermarket radiators in the front because our stock radiators were seeping a little bit. Uh, CSF radiator was a vendor. Great radiator product. Nice cooling. And we have a lot of other good stuff on the car. Um, the heart of the beast is the by design Garrett turbocharger upgrade. Uh, it's a 65 millimeter billet wheel upgrade to the stock turbos. Basically a bolt-in VTG turbo. It's good for about 850 horsepower, but we're keeping it just about 750 wheel horsepower. There's a comparison to the stock turbo. Here you can see the um, by design turbo on the right and the stock turbo on the left, just to get an idea of the wheel comparison between the stock and the aftermarket. You see the bigger billet wheel. Here we have some turbo inlet tubes. You can see how restrictive the stock uh, inlet tubes are. Here's the torque curve on the car. You can see we're making about 700 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, 600 is the lowest end of the torque. Here's where we're installing the clutch. We put a Sax Racing clutch in. Here's the wonderful Europipe exhaust, the three-inch exhaust. We got the big one. It's very important to get this if you're making the big power. Um, full three-inch system all the way through, and we're running the high-flow cats. They're very good high-flow cats, and we're running on E85. Very good system. There's the Sax clutch that we're running. That's about the drivetrain modifications we need. And we're running the ID 1300 injector. Runs really good with the Cobb access port engine management running the system. There she is, the beautiful beast. It looks stock outside, totally stock. You can't tell the car's modified. It's kind of like a maybe a sleeping beauty. There's the engine bay. You got that carbon fiber AMS intake. There's um, the intercore from AMS. It's a giant Garrett core. Barely fits in the car. You can see it's a tight squeeze there, but it really helps to keep the charge air temps down. And uh, it's a very tight squeeze. As you can see here, you have to do a little trimming of the body to get it in. But once you get it in, you really lower the charge temps. It's a tremendous increase in the performance of the car. I'm very happy with it. Here's the carbon fiber air intake ducts that come with it. Once again, I have to say that Europipe is the best. Here's the cats they use, very high performance cats. Here's the Europipe system getting ready to install in the car. Very happy with the Europipe, best exhaust ever for a 997, fantastic. And here is um, just a little pictures of the install doing myself in my garage, tight space in my garage, but love working on the car. And here she is, the car. And now I'm gonna show you some videos of me driving the car. It sure is a beast on the highway. It's a monster. As you'll see, it just tears up the tires on the road.
As you can see, the Europipe has the perfect, perfect sound. I just love that snarl. It's just beautiful sound. It's, I think it'll make everyone happy who has a Porsche. Thanks for watching and uh, happy motoring. Soon I'll be out on the road and we'll maybe do some racing or something. Enjoy.